Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to do the story of Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear by Eric Carl, and we're going to mix in some yoga as we do the story. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippo snorting in my ear. Hippo, hippo, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children in my ear. So we're going to go back and we're going to add in some yoga poses for each of the animals in this story. So let's start with the polar bear. Look at him. He's beautiful. For, to do a polar bear, we're going to do a downward facing dog. So start on your hands and knees. Move my camera a little bit so you can see me better. So start on our hands and knees. Tuck your toes under and then lift high to the sky. And here you are in a polar bear and you can do a little polar bear walk, moving side to side. Very nice, come down on your knees very carefully. Right. Now we'll do the lion. So to do a lion, we're going to come into hero's pose and do some lion's breath. So it looks like this. You're gonna come, I'll show you from the side. Knees bent, your bum on your heels. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna stick out your tongue and do a lion's breath. I'll come a little closer. Take a big breath in. And stick out your tongue. fun. <laughs> Lion's breath. Now we're going to do this beautiful hippo. So to do hippo, hippos are really strong and powerful. So I thought we would try to do a warrior pose. So you want to stand up, put one foot forward, one foot back, and then lift up your arms or hands can be right by your heart. Yes. You could try the other side, other foot forward, opposite foot forward. Good. Oh, really strong. You want to be a really strong hippopotamus. Good. Flamingo. Hmm. The other side with flamingo stands on one leg. So we're going to explore that. See if you can stand and balance on one leg. And there's a yoga pose called Flamingo Pose. So you'll stand up. And then you're going to see if you can just balance. See if you can bring one leg up. You can bring your hands wherever it helps you to balance. And let's see if you want to get really tricky. You could even try to bend your standing leg. Whoop, try the other side. Try the other leg. That foot down, bend your knee and sit down like a flamingo. If you lose your balance, it's no big deal. You just put down your other flamingo leg. Really nice. Good, flamingo pose. Let's see. Look at this beautiful boa constrictor. I love Eric Carl's illustrations. They're so beautiful. Boa constrictor, we're gonna do cobra pose, a snake pose. So you'll to do a snake pose, you wanna come onto your bellies. 
put your hands right underneath your shoulders and then you'll press up. And even here you could do a little lion's breath or a snake breath. <sighs> or you could hiss like a snake. We're going to do elephant. Hmm, how could we do elephant? I thought we would stand up and we would move our arms like an elephant trunk. So stand up. And you're just going to bend over. And you can take one arm out in front of you and move it side to side. You could even walk your elephant. You could walk around. You could swing the other arm. Elephant pose. Let's see what's next. Hmm. A leopard. Look at this guy. A leopard is actually a type of cat. So I thought, let's do cat pose. Yoga cat pose. So you're going to start on your hands and knees. And then you're going to press your hands down and just round your back like a Halloween cat. And this is leopard pose. Oh, it feels so good. Really nice. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh my goodness, look at this peacock. Isn't he or she beautiful? Love it. For peacock pose, I think we'll do Molossina pose. So Molossina pose, you're gonna come, bend your knees, and then your knees are nice and wide. You can take your arms, if you can balance here, great. If you need to have your hands on the floor, that's fine too. And then you're gonna spread your peacock wings. See if you can reach around and up down. Do anything you want with your arms. Spreading your beautiful peacock feathers. Good. That one might be a tricky one. Let's see. Look at this walrus. Oh my goodness. We're going to do a sphinx pose. You can see how there's flippers there down on the ground. So we're going to do that in yoga with our, this is called your forearm. So Bend your knees. You're going to be on your belly. Um, not bend your knees. Bend your elbows. Press your feet down and see if you can lift your heart up. A walrus. You could even have some fun here and try to move like a walrus and waddle around. See what you can do. It's a little tricky. <laughs> it's fun. Laugh, giggle, have a little fun. It's not graceful <laughs> and not meant to be. Walrus pose. And then our last is the zookeeper. So I think we could just stand up like a zookeeper. So standing up in yoga, it's not just called standing up. It's called mountain pose. So we're going to stand up. And then the zookeeper is swinging his bucket. So you can swim, swim, swing your bucket. You can walk forward. You can walk backwards. And now you're a zookeeper. You can bend down low. You could feed your animals. Could give them some food, could do all kinds of things as a zookeeper. And that is the end of our story. Eric Carl's Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? We'll end, take a big breath in, reach to the sky, and then bring your hands to your heart. Namaste. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.